Welcome to Electra Online. As you thought that it couldn't get any more complicated dealing with time and GPS, it turns out there's one more timekeeping method used in the world called TAI. And TAI stands for Time Atomic International. It's made up of about 400 atomic clocks that are situated around the world, and their time is averaged. But it turns out that that does not run at the same speed as UTC because the Earth's rotation is slowing down. So the time, TAI, is not affected by the slowdown of the, of the rotation of the Earth. And it also runs different than the time in space, where the GPS satellites are, because of different effects, of the relativity effects. So if we then compare the three systems, notice they are beginning to diverge. And you can see that the difference between the TAI and the UTC has been changing roughly about one second every year. You can see that back, whoop, back in 1980, when the UTC was equal to the GPS time, you can see there was already a 19 second difference between TAI and GPS. And as time keeps going, notice that the difference between TAI and UTC is also changing, it's also increasing, and currently is about 37 seconds. So we can see there's currently an 18 second difference between GPS and UTC, and there's a 37 second difference between TAI and UTC. So it turns out that the difference between TAI and GPS stays roughly the same, although it does change over time, and the difference between GPS and UTC is constantly increasing. And so the increase between TAI and UTC and TAI and GPS are not exactly the same. They do differ as well. And we keep track of all three systems. So if you say that it's 4 hours and 29 minutes UTC time, then it'll be 4 hours, 29 minutes, and 18 seconds GPS time, and 4 hours, 29, and 37 seconds TAI time. So you do see that we do keep track of these. And of course, the most important part for us is the difference between these two because that's how the GPS clocks are referenced. They're referenced to UTC time, not to TAI time, but at least you know that there's a third method of keeping track of the time on the Earth called TAI, and that is how it's done.